All right, everybody. I hope everything is working all right. I can guarantee it. Um, you know, I'm I'm both streaming and I am um, recording at the same time. So we have had this uh, this high priced and dangerous nuclear power is not an option for the climate friendly energy mix which is basically what is being thrown around as being the German study that tells us that nuclear is never ever profitable. Now, first of all, I want to show you what DIW is. It's basically the German Institute for Economic Research. And this is quite peculiar. So let's just look at it. This is at a glance, analysis of the historical, current and future profitability of nuclear power plants. Consideration in terms of economic history and financial examination of net present values of investments in nuclear power. And basically, so what we see here is they say that for each plant that you build, each 1000 megawatts of nuclear power that you build, the expected loss in billions of euros is one and a half to 8.9 billion. So in once they model it, they say the specific investment costs are between 4,000 and 9,000 euros per kilowatt, which is uh, funny because if you look at the actual data, which I have right here, you can see that the investment varies greatly. It varies from uh, 1,600 euros per kilowatt up to, you know, uh, 10,000 euros per kilowatt. So the range is bigger than they suggest. So this range is too small. It's basically too small. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it is, uh, it is a fact. Uh, weighted average cost of capital, four to 10%, and then the electricity wholesale price, 20 to 80 euros per megawatt hour. Now that's pretty cheap. So I don't see why this is a negative thing. If I look at my own uh, levelized cost of electricity, uh, you know, models, I don't even get down to 20. I get uh, down to 28. Um, and the highest is 200, but that's at a discount rate of, t of 10%. And that's uh, looking at Vogel. So, yeah. There's nothing new here. Uh, so far, I have not seen anything to suggest that they are, you know, uh, wrong. Um, although the expected loss in billions of euros, I don't understand, but we'll get there. So from the authors, nuclear power was never designed for commercial electricity generation. It was aimed at nuclear weapons. So there we go. That's basically, this is basically the first real sentence that I disagree with, that all of us disagree with, obviously. Uh, nuclear power is actually a follow-up from the uh, development of nuclear weapons and, you know, um, peace, you know, electricity from, from nuclear reactors has been put to good use in peaceful means for like 99% of all reactor life. So that is why nuclear electricity has been and will continue to be uneconomical. Further, nuclear energy is by no means clean. Its radioactivity will endanger humans and the natural world for over 1 million years. And that's just not true. Uh, these people clearly don't, ha don't understand nuclear. They have no grasp of the history about, uh, of nuclear energy. And, well, later on we will read something that will blow your mind. High priced and dangerous, nuclear power is not an option for the climate friendly energy mix. So this is basically all, you know, uh, early phase of commercial use. Second phase, 1980s and 1990s, saw the transition from a bipolar to a global multipolar nuclear arms race as a result of at least as a result at least 10 countries gained possession of the technology and knowledge required for nuclear weapons yes that's true but the question is uh, what does that have to do with civilian nuclear power plants absolutely nothing 
um, you know, maybe some tritium or I don't know, but uh, I, I doubt that it's that we're talking about plutonium production because that's basically the only stuff that you can breed in a reactor that can be used for bombs. Um, we know how to, you know, uh, spot nuclear reactors that are being used for this purpose because their power output varies at you know different intervals from those who don't cook plutonium 239 and uh so this is basically a non sequitur they're just you know dangling a red herring in front of her face and saying oh look uh nuclear power is uh, equal to nuclear bombs and uh, therefore all nuclear power is bad so figure one is interesting Current overnight construction cost estimates for, for reactors in Europe and the US, as well as ongoing new build projects. So basically, Sharp and Kaczynski, OECD and NEA, EIA, Barkatulla and Ahmad, IEA, IEA, Hinkley. So these are all uh, scientific. Uh, scientific publications and the last four are uh actual reactors hinkley point c vogel flammenville 3 and oculowoto so you know um they are basically showing us well these for the, the the first what is it seven 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 bars are basically aggregates of multiple nuclear reactor builds and then looking at the average and if you look at the average you know it's around it's between four thousand and six thousand euros per kilowatt which is not too bad actually um flamanville three and all kilowatt we all know the story uh vogel same thing and it's not surprising that they are actually um pointing this out so i'm not i'm not i'm not too worried about this the point is where are taishan where is shinano um what about bakara uh baraka bakara i don't know <laughs> sometimes i i i i i i don't exactly know how to you know uh say it but in any case uh, uh they are looking at a pretty uh, pretty small pretty small pool of nuclear reactors because they're only looking at Europe and US they're just ignoring the rest of the world we just uh, short-sighted to be to be frank because if we look at the rest of the world let's see where it is over here you see then you can see that Chinkori for instance in Korea is one of the cheapest nuclear power plants ever built for about 1600 euros per per kilowatt which is about as cheap as an offshore wind farm um you know shinanul is is pretty cheap shinkori is still pretty cheap taishan is pretty cheap sunman the first uh operational ap1000 reactors they are pretty cheap then you've got Haiyang, they're slightly more expensive, don't know why. But then if you look at the European ones, so the European and the English and the and the American ones, Oklahoma, Flamanville, Hinkley Point, and Vogel, then you, 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 you start getting into the red. But the funny thing is that you can still... Uh, if you manage to, you know, finance them with low cost loans, you can still turn a profit on these reactors. Vogel, that's that's going to be problematic in Europe. I'm t I'm talking about Europe because our uh, mainly about the Netherlands because our cost to produce electricity is sixty cents at this moment. So everything below sixty cents turns out green. And it's funny because we have a spectrum of reactors here and this whole spectrum of reactors are being deployed in not just non-European context, but also in a European context. And you can clearly see that it is possible to, to, to build the same reactor at a lower cost 
this, well, the APR 1400 is not yet being deployed in a Western context, but you see this, uh, you see a similar pattern here. And still, you know, even though uh, Baraka is being, um, you know, uh, qual qual qualified as being red, it's still pretty cheap. I mean, if you stay below the six percent discount rate, you can uh, you can you can basically turn a profit um, and uh, manage to keep the uh, manage to keep the electricity prices low. So let's see, let's get back. Monte Carlo analysis turns up lack of financial basis for investment. Well, that's not really interested. External costs, simply no insurance for nuclear energy. You know, the point is, I don't believe that we need to have any insurance for nuclear energy because almost nothing happens in that industry. And then new technology concepts do not change the outlook look at the you know the parenthesis that is added here new new um let's see conclusions the economic history and financial analyses carried out at diw berlin show that nuclear energy has always been unprofitable in the private economy and will remain so in the future uh, between 1951 and 2017, none of the 674 nuclear reactors built was done so with private capital under competitive... What? Under competitive... Oh, that's nice. They just cut off an entire pace. I don't know. With <laughs> it's like okay, they just end this <laughs> the sentence here. We're under competitive page one, page two, page three. Uh, conditions large state subsidies were used in the cases where private capital flowed into financing the nuclear industry. The post war period did not witness a transition from the military nuclear energy. Wait a second, the post war period period did not witness a transition from the military nuclear industry to commercial use and the boom in finance in state financed nuclear power plants soon fizzled out in the 1960s now the funny thing is i don't believe there is uh, any 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 real uh evidence to back this uh to back this up besides the funny thing here is that benjamin sovacool is being cited which is as always a a uh <clears throat> a big no-no in my uh in my mind uh, let's see uh, so financial investment calculations confirmed a trend investing in a new nuclear power plant leads to average losses of around 5 billion euros. The lack of economic efficiency goes hand in hand with high risk with a high risk with regard to the proliferation and of weapons grade materials and the release of radioactivity as shown by the accident in Harrisburg, Chernobyl and Fukushima. For all these reasons, nuclear energy is not a relevant option for supplying economical, climate friendly and sustainable energy in the future. Now, the funny thing is they're only looking at investment, you know, in initial capital investment. So uh, basically because we're talking about a, a utility, you know, something that we all use um this means that yes we need government involvement to get these plans going but to be honest none of the plans that exist today are you know fully privately fully private enterprises that did not get any subsidy at all at any time um it's just it's 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 weird to suggest that that's a prerequisite besides and i wanted to talk about something else i'm just going to take an excel i'm just going to make an, a, a new excel file i'm just going to paste it over this one here and we're going to uh take hinkley c for instance right and we're going to take these levelized cost of electricity uh figures that we have gotten here let's uh, zoom in so that we can make it nice and legible for other people so Hinkley point C is about 25 billion 
uh, pounds, right? Uh, euros. Let's let's keep it in euros because I've I've normalized every everything to euros, and now I'm just going to exaggerate because I like exaggerating and you know putting putting stuff in the wrong context. So it 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 cost us twenty five billion euros to build, right? Now. During its lifetime, it will produce about 1,500 terawatt hours, right? So 1,500 terawatt hours over the lifespan. So the most expensive scenario is when we have a 10% discount for all of this, you know. Everything is discounted. The uh, the, the, the cost to run the plant... Um, the cost for the fuel, you name it, everything is discounted here. So let's take a hundred and forty-two euros per megawatt hour, right? So we're so that's basically this times one thousand gives us the gigawatt hour cost, right? Again, euros per gigawatt hour, and the last one is going to be the price in um terawatt hours right uh times 1000 again i always do that i always do it this way i know i can do times 1 million and we will get the same let's just check if that's true times huh? there we go 1 million there you go times 1 million but i always do these ch steps it's I don't know. It just makes sense to do it in that my, it, like that in my head. Perhaps that's because I'm not smart enough. I don't know. So let's see. This thing costs to operate uh, this per terawatt hour. So we have to multiply this by this figure. All right so let's see what we're going to get right it's going to be a great surprise uh, number there you go now at this moment we are not turning a profit by the way it's fairly simple so if we oh yeah i don't i don't need to add those things in, uh, up because this price is already included in here so this is going to cost us that much euros over 60 years right and they sell their electricity at 92 pounds so let's see uh pounds to euros right so they are going to sell their electricity at about 100 euros per Get up per megawatt hour so uh, euros per megawatt hour right so what we get is and it's going to look even nastier than what they are saying all right let's see uh, no i need to do the same thing so basically this is uh 100 million per terawatt hour right let's add some commas in here so we can see now this is totally uncut i'm just oh look there you go so basically what we get is this minus this is the is the loss that we will make so we will lose about 63 billion pounds if this were reality if we would if we would have to build hinkley c at a 10 percent discount rate so let's say that we are building it at a five percent discount rate or a six percent discount rate that would give us a price oh wait a second i'm i'm looking uh, looking way way too far up so let's say we are going to build it at a six percent discount rate that's going to bring the price up to 85.8 so what we are going to do is we are going to let's see uh this one right there is going to 85 8 right so right now 
let's see because I was doing this incorrectly uh, let's see so what's wrong here oh duh I was I was changing the wrong wrong thing around 85.8 right so right now if you get if you can actually so this is profit right so now I have to uh, is this one minus this one now you get 21 billion in profit so that's still too expensive for the Dutch just a reminder it's still too expensive for the Dutch if we would build a Hinkley point C under these conditions with a 6% discount rate which is pretty high um, it would be 25 cents yeah it would be it would be 25 euros per megawatt hour too expensive in order to um in in order to maintain a you know a a level of electricity price that would be comfortable to us if they this would be added on top of the electricity price which is about it would be about 10 percent. so we would go from 20 to 23 cents per kilowatt hour to about 25 or 26 cents per kilowatt hour it's still not a big leap i mean but it this this basically this exercise here defeats the premise that um it's impossible to do nuclear cheaply so let's do the same thing but let's assume that we would would be capable of building an epr like taishan one at the same cost level so we are going to build a taishan one and two in the netherlands at a three percent discount rate and we are going to sell our electricity at 60 euros per megawatt hour so this is what we get right so we can sell it at 60 million euros per kilowatt hour no i'm doing this the wrong way again no this is good uh 60 million euros per terawatt hour and we're going to let's see oh yes we are going to have a price of 30.2 okay so here we have to say 30.2 this is going to net us a profit of 44 billion euros 44 billion euros it's impossible to maintain that there's there's no profitability in nuclear power at all it's just you cannot maintain it the Chinese are already turning a profit on nuclear energy it's impossible almost not to so and here's the thing and this is something that people do not take into account when they're looking at these kinds of things so if the government if we pay 60 if we pay 60 euros per megawatt hour for or for our electricity the government is earning about let's see 140 yeah that's about right let's see uh, number and this is how chaotic i always do this stuff so no we need to add a zero so this is cost uh, this is uh, um, um, electricity electricity price uh, no what we pay what we pay f for the electricity production right so that's what we pay for the electricity production okay and here we get what we pay in taxes right per terawatt hour so the government is going to make this is incredible this is just incredible so the government is going to make and this is again billion we're in the billion still there you go 210 billion euros in tax revenue over 60 years 
So that's what we're going to put here. Tax revenue in 60 years. So the question here is, suppose that they would, you know, uh, suppose that they would pay the entire thing, the entire thing. Suppose that they would pay seven, let's see, seven billion euros for the plant. And people are always, you know, harping about how much money it costs and whatnot. So if they would, suppose they would, they would pay for the plant. They would say, okay, we will subsidize it for 100%. They will make a, let's see, this, this times 100. They would make a 3,000% return on their investment. So in all honesty, these people, oh, sorry, looking somewhere else. These people here, the DIW, high priced and dangerous nuclear power is not an option for climate friendly energy mix. Well, let's see. Um, nuclear has never been profitable. There it is. So the funny thing is, if we look at these headlines from Renew Economy, for instance, nuclear energy is never profitable. And they don't show us, you know, a cost benefit analysis. They only focus on, you know, the built price and nothing else. That's just misleading the public. So basically what these people are telling us is, you know, it's hard to invest privately in a nuclear power plant. That's all they are saying. And the second thing they're saying is, if you want to build a power plant that's probably not going to work without government involvement that's true i will i will i will absolutely grant you that it won't be possible to do any nuclear in any country without government involvement or even subsidies i, I won't i wouldn't deny it but the windfall from operating a nuclear power plant in a country like the Netherlands, just for the state, just for the country, is enormous. It's enormous. I mean, 210 million euros in tax revenue alone. I mean, to suppose that nuclear is not profitable is just plain wrong. It's absurd. These claims with all due respect for these DIW people, well, actually not with all due respect. Um, these people are misleading people, so I don't think they, de they, they deserve any respect or anything like that. It's just plain wrong. And there's something here that will blow your minds. I, 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 I kept this for, you know, for the end. Um, let's see where it is. Nuclear energy is not clean. <laughs> Here we go. Due to nuclear energy's intense, long-lasting radioactivity and the associated risks to human life and the natural world, it cannot be designated as a clean source of energy. This applies to its entire value create creation chain. Mining for uranium ore generates large quantities of radioactive waste that has made giant swaths of land unusable. That's the first. Splitting uranium and plutonium during electricity production causes radioacti radioactive emissions in the form of particle radiation, which is a hazard, which is a potential hazard to human life. A number of studies have established a correlation between building and operating nuclear power plants and the risk of children in the vicinity contracting cancer or leukemia. Now well, they have basically, let's see, there's two references here. See Peter Koch et al. Epidemiologische EP, 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 Studie zu Kinderkrebs in der Umgebung von Kernkraftwerken. 
from 2007 and then the first one is examples include uranium mining in the gdr Awa region and in france and niger now the funny thing is if you look at for instance the uranium mining done in germany the lands that have been used to mine uranium have been completely transformed into these exquisite exquisite parks um let's see um our our uh uranium uh, let's see remediation i think it's remediation no um uh let's see if you can see it so it used to be something like this you saw a ditch you know with 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 stuff that was mined and left after the uranium had been extracted so we still have some images like this uh, let's see but here you can see it so basically what they have done is the evaluation and appraisal of the Weesmouth gmbh remediation project and if you look it up, I mean, this used to be the mine and this is how the area looks today. And it's just an area where people walk their dogs or have their recreational activities. And the same can be said for this thing here. This was the uranium processing unit at, uh, at Zwickau and it basically has been torn down completely and it has been made into a, you know, a field where people probably walk their dogs again. So... I mean, this stuff here, I don't know this Peter Koch at all, whether that has ever been refuted or not. I don't know, um, you know, to what extent this is a problem. But the, pro the point here is that they're making it sound like it's terrifically dangerous and expensive and, and dirty. And the point is that it's not. It's just not. And we have plenty of evidence to, you know, to show different. In any case, this was it for this stream and, you know, uh, this, uh, this episode. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.